Like a flower that is losing its petals I saw people losing their head There are too many levels And nobody to tell you what's next She took her time to handle the ache Hey guys, welcome to my vlog. My name is Amy. So I just finished planning the new week which is starting tomorrow. You guys, planning helps make things easier for me. I easily get overwhelmed and when I plan for the week. I plan weekly. I know what my week would look like except things that I don't have control over. The things I have control over, I know what I'm supposed to do or what I'm going to do concerning the things I can control. So I use these two books you are seeing right here this is just a jotter where i jot things down like i write down things and then this one is my diary yeah it has the days and weeks like if i'm supposed to do a particular thing or i'm supposed to go to a particular place on a particular date or time this is where i write it and i also schedule the time on my phone because you guys i can forget things yeah so these are the two books i use so tell me in the comment section do you plan weekly or monthly or daily or do you just go ahead with anything that comes your way so let me know in the comment section so now that i'm done planning i have some form of clarity about how my week is going to go except for the unforeseen contingencies but either way i know that things that i can control i have control over them already the next day you guys i decided to try out baking today like i've never baked anything in my life so i'm going to start with chocolate chips cookies i've been binge watching so many videos in fact i've watched so many videos on youtube and i decided to try it out myself this is like the simplest recipe i saw i already measured out all the ingredients i need this is flour this is egg this is vanilla powder this is baking powder you guys i didn't know that there's a difference between baking powder and baking soda i used to think that they are the same thing but it's from this recipe i understood that i need both baking powder and baking soda and i have only baking powder so i'm using baking powder this is the baking powder that i bought so that's what i'm going to be using i don't have baking soda and like i can't go out and get it now so this is sugar this is butter and then i couldn't find chocolate chips so i decided to work with chocolate bar instead so i'm using like normal chocolate i'm going to cut it into small pieces like chocolate cookies and then i need my two bowls they say you need two bowls to mix something i don't know i can't remember sure but oh my god this thing i've poured so let me go right into the mixing because i think that's where the work like that's when majority of the work is and this is my first time ever of baking i've never baked shit in my life so i hope this turns out well. that's why i'm strictly following their this recipe so that okay except for the baking soda issue so that i'll know that like i tried right hey <laughs> But don't get it twisted, I don't take no A few moments later. It's still very hot, so I'm going to allow it to get cold. And I made a little mistake. I didn't know I was supposed to give it a lot of space from each other before putting it in too big. So they ended up like coming together and that's why it's broken like that so some ended up getting stuck with each other that's why it's like rough like this so i've learned that one today and i don't really know the difference between the one baked with baking soda and the one this one that i baked with only baking powder because i was supposed to use both baking soda and baking powder but i used only baking powder because i don't have baking soda so 
I'm going to allow it to chill now and of course I've tasted it and it tastes so nice you guys I'm so proud of myself <laughs> So you guys, the other day we went shopping and I saw prawn crackers guys, it's been like ages since I ate prawn crackers So immediately I saw it, I had so much excitement Let me go show you what I'm talking about This is what I'm talking about Like, I love this thing so much It has different flavors but it's been a really long time since I last saw it So immediately I saw it while we were shopping, I just, with so much excitement on my face, I just grabbed it The show was like, I'm sure that thing is not on your list and <laughs> Of course, it was not on my list because I didn't know I was going to see it. So, like, it really made me so happy. It really made me so happy. Imagine Frank Cracker is making someone so happy. So, I'm going to go ahead and pop some right now and eat because <laughs> you guys, I can eat this thing all day. You don't even understand the half of it. So, I feel like eating snacks now. So, I'm going to make this thing and eat. And then I'm going to go ahead and this place looks messy. I'm going to go ahead and clear the kitchen and it's almost about time to start making lunch so and i want to make catfish pepper soup so once i'm done clearing the kitchen and like it's time for lunch i'll make catfish pepper soup because it doesn't even take time to make so but i'll show you guys whatever i get up as i'm done prepping my ingredients and i'm ready to start making lunch this is the fresh fish i washed it with hot water so it will remove that slimy and the catfish skin this is ginger and garlic paste this is pepper i used both yellow and red pepper i used more of yellow pepper than red pepper here this is uziza uziza is some kind of scent leaf in Igbo we call it uziza i really don't know what it's called in other languages but it's scent leaf also in english then this is my seasoning cube this is ehuru i enjoy the aroma of ehuru in my pepper soup because like it adds flavor it adds that natural african flavor to the pepper soup so i just need one tablespoon of this like i won't finish this whole sachet because as you can see the fish is not really that big and then this is salt so this is the only thing i'll be using and then of course water but this is like the only ingredients i'm adding to my pepper soup so i'm going to go ahead now and put everything inside the pot like there's no procedure or process i just add the fish add all these ingredients except the vegetable the vegetable comes last like once i add the vegetable i cover the pot and everything is done so let's start cooking So this is the pepper soup. I'm having it with agidi. I don't know what agidi is called in English language, but let me just open it and show you what it looks like inside. I like the white agidi. I don't really like all those jollof agidi. So this is the agidi. So this is what I'm having for lunch. Let me just transfer it. Let me just transfer it into the pepper soup so you get. So this is what I'm having. This is my lunch, you guys, and come and join me. to me before 